Thank you for everyone who watched St. Joseph's first A-10 win in overtime. Welcome to this George Mason VCU game where the score is tied up at seven apiece. We're five minutes into this game. Number one VCU taking on George Mason at George Mason. I'm Coy Robinson joined by Tim McCormick. And thus far, it has been back and forth. George Mason with their first lead of the game. And here's the deal. When you look at this matchup, VCU brings the heat more than anybody else in the A-10. And the question we're going to be watching throughout, does George Mason look composed with the basketball? And Javon Green flushing it in transition. Career here at George Mason. He's eight blocks away of tying the school record for blocks. Boy, a huge defensive mistake by George Mason. Ten and five. <laughs> So what a leap forward for Joshua Duro. Another deflection by Kolick that results in a layup for Mason. He's had good success, and I think VCU's post defense is not a strength. Ace Baldwin with the steal there. And the shot will fall, and one opportunity for Ace. They've got very good depth. They can score off their D, and they play so darn hard. And you see that too? Bones shook the defender out of his shoe. Stripped and flushed by Ward. He Top three in blocks, steals, field goal percentage defense, and three-point percentage defense. That time, it was to no avail. Otis Frazier with a nice turnaround jumper. 13th in national. And Dave Paulson always tells his guys, let's pass up a good shot to get a great one. That's an example right there. This is a slow tempo game, which really is a favor to the, the defense here. Wow, what a finish. Step back, three-pointer from Bones Highland. And you play a lot faster than you're really comfortable doing. Early in this game, it was blow for blows, tied at 22, and then got out of hand pretty quickly there. That's an and one opportunity for Levi Stocker. It was against Fordham where they had a thrashing of Fordham, a 30-point victory. That shot by Ward is off, and Kolick throws it up to Miller, their leading scorer, who finishes at the rim. Very impressive that Coach Rhodes knows his strength. He said, I'm a basketball coach. I'm not a sports psychologist, so good for him. A dime there to Corey Douglas Jr., who's all alone. Javon Green driving. Oduro gets the deflection. Get it to Miller, who knocks it down from deep. Off, and here come the Rams in transition. Watkins stripped. On the other end, Xavier Johnson stripped, <laughs> but followed by Frazier, who gets it to fall. Yep. Yeah, high screen and roll is their best play in ISO. Highland, mid-range jumper, falls. Asad Ward! Flushing it! A couple highlight dunks for him today. And there's the press by VCU turning over. And Bones finishing at the rim. Do you almost feel like you want Bones to force the action a little bit more? Ace Baldwin in the passing lane there and finishes. Bones Highland with the steal. A monster block by Josh Oduro as we're playing ping pong instead of basketball right now. A deflection picked up by Oduro and flushed for two. Shoots a mid-range floater that's off. And in transition the other way, an acrobatic finish by Javon Green, who continues on his stellar performance the past six games. Your best player just left the court. The player's probably a bit shaken. Who is going to make a play for the Rams? Well, the ball's in the hands of Williams, who's taken a couple shots the last few possessions. Now, Watkins answers the call. The bat signal's in the air, is short. Could the momentum be changing? An and one opportunity for Stalker. VCU up two. 
George Mason going to Old Reliable. <laughs> and Arturo gets it done again. Holding the ball. Five seconds left. Harwell going one on one against Baldwin, and he gets another steal to add to his career night. Seven seconds on the on the game clock. Balls in Ace's hands. Ace gives it to Vince Williams from deep. And the shot is off. Tim, we're going to overtime. George Mason is five and two in games decided by five points or less. One of those losses coming to VCU. And George Mason is two and oh in overtime this season. Somehow they have the clutch gene. Last time in a similar situation to force this overtime. Let's see how the VCU Rams respond. Oh boy, what a finish. Oh, Frazier finishes at the rim through contact, no foul, but to extend the lead to four for George Mason with under a minute to play. Aggressive and get the shot that you want, not the one that VCU is encouraging you to take. Miller, the leading scorer, ice in his veins. 20 seconds left in the game. VCU down four. Ace Baldwin takes a runner. High off the glass, they quickly call a timeout after it falls. <laughs> Number one VCU down three with 3.9 seconds left. They get the ball to Ace Baldwin, who is fouled before he takes the shot. Some excellent coaching and execution. How good has Josh Oduro been? Unbelievable, 27 points. His career high was 19. Missed the second one, it works out well. The shot is no good. And that will do it for us here. Number one, VCU falls to George Mason at home. George Mason is three for four against this team.